Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Future Tech Archives. Do you know that we are very close to walking on the surface of Mars? For the first time in the history, we do stand a good chance to walk on the surface of Mars all thanks to the ambitious tech giant Elon Musk. Musk is building a gigantic spacecraft called Starship that will take humans across the huge distance between Earth and Mars. However, this is not an easy task. The trip will take months in deep space, so Musk's company SpaceX needs to find a safe way to protect the travelers from the effects of microgravity. SpaceX has provided a solution to this by introducing an artificial gravity starship. Do you want to know the complete details about this starship? Then don't skip the video and watch till the end. So, let's get started. Elon Musk is tirelessly absorbed in the mission to colonize Mars and is planning to take people from the Earth to Mars to live there permanently. Musk is building the Starship, which is a space rocket that promises to be the most powerful rocket ever in existence. It is promised to be configurable for carrying humans or cargo to Mars. The Starship is unique in many ways as it is capable of lifting more than 100 tons of weight to orbit. This amount of weight is necessary as many tons of cargo will be needed to reach Mars before humans for colonization purposes. This cargo will contain systems that will keep humans alive on Mars. You must know that Mars has a very harsh environment and special provisions have to be arranged for humans to live on it. Elon Musk has to supply water, food, and materials for constructing shelters and machinery for making rocket fuel and all associated activities. SpaceX has designed a starship that consists of an upper chamber and a lower stage chamber. When the point of separation will come, the lowest stage or the super heavy booster will return to Earth while the ship will proceed to Mars after refueling in orbit. To save costs, both stages of the starship are completely reusable. When the booster will return to the land, it will be quickly checked and prepped for the next flight. The booster will need around 30 Raptor engines for propulsion. The Raptor engines are especially designed and developed by SpaceX. The upper stage will also re-enter the Earth after each mission and has heat-resistant tiles which protect from any damages by the high amount of heat produced. SpaceX has forecasted that it will need around 1,000 of these starships, which will be needed to launch at least three per day. This plan will allow Elon Musk to reach his ultimate goal of sending 1 million people to Mars. You should know that Starship is not only planned and built for Mars colonization alone. You would be surprised to know that NASA is planning to use the Starship in its next mission mission to the moon. The spacecraft is planned to drop the astronauts on the moon's surface and return them to Earth's orbit after they complete their missions. When the Starship is used as a cargo carrier, its design is relatively simpler. However, when the Starship is used to transport humans, it becomes complex. In the case of shorter trips like a trip to the moon, SpaceX is confident and capable as a complete journey will take only several days. However, in the case of the trip from Earth to Mars, it is completely another story. It will take months to reach Mars, and this exposes the passengers to harmful radiations, which will result from the harsh environment that the Starship has to pass through. This problem can be solved by using shields on the starship. But there is another major problem that is under serious consideration, which is gravity. Gravity has a major impact on astronauts traveling far distances. Astronauts have to keep a strict regimen of exercise on the International Space Station or ISS. Even then, some returning astronauts have to be stretched out of their spacecraft when they return for months-long missions. Elon Musk has to produce some gravity on the starship to fully address the gravity issue. You should know that microgravity has its own side effects. Nitsa Sintron, chief of NASA Space Medicine and Healthcare Systems Office, describes some of the effects of microgravity on the human body. First and foremost, there is the bone loss that occurs at a rate of 1 to 1.5 percent a month, leading to an acceleration of age-related changes which are similar to osteoporosis. Then, there is a decrease in bone density and strength which are more pronounced in some skeletal regions such as the pelvis. Most of this loss is reversible upon return to Earth, but any prolonged exposure to weightlessness also increases the risk of kidney stones and bone fractures. Longer stay in space also impacts muscles with the loss of muscle mass, strength, and endurance, especially in the lower extremities. When these changes in muscle performance are coupled with the effects of microgravity on connective tissues, this makes astronauts at risk of fatigue and injury. 
During prolonged missions, exercise is an effective way of minimizing large muscle atrophy. This is why astronauts use a cycle ergometer and treadmill with downward applied pressure to maintain physical fitness. And astronaut Scott Kelly mentioned that he found readjusting to life on Earth a bit harder after spending a year in space as part of NASA's twin study. He stated all these details in his book Endurance. As Elon Musk is planning that the Mars community becomes a self-sustaining development, he must ensure that he can transport humans in the most healthy state possible. Or else, humans will perish and his entire plan will come to a dangerous end. You must know that SpaceX is the first company to deal with the enormous effect of microgravity in rocket development. One of the earlier works on microgravity solutions was conceptualized by Konstantin Ziolkowski. He is considered as one of the founding fathers of rocketry and astronautics. In 1903, he published a study titled Investigation of Outer Space Rocket Devices in which he suggested the use of rotational force to create artificial gravity in space. After that, there have been many variations of this idea which have been proposed for space stations and habitats, some of which are the Von Braun Wheel, the O'Neill Cylinder, and the Stanford Taurus. Many other concepts are under development such as NASA's Natalius X space station, which would use a rotating torus to provide artificial gravity. Another proposal is by Gateway Foundation for a commercial space station. However, there is some drawback to each of these methods which makes them impractical or not compatible with Musk's Starship. Some ideas have very strange shapes that will make launching difficult. Some are too heavy to be practical, while some mechanisms will use too much fuel. Some other concepts are also under consideration. Small Stars on YouTube has proposed a concept that will work well with SpaceX's flagship spacecraft. The idea is to use a system of three starships that will move together. The system will consist of a payload starship that is flanked on each side by a passenger starship. The payload bay is filled with a truss that unfolds and deploys robotically, thus serving as the spokes of the wheel. Each starship will be launched separately from the Earth, but once linked up, the passenger ships would swivel around to reorient them and fire their thrusters to impart momentum to the wheel. Once enough velocity is generated to simulate Earth a normal gravity which is 9.8 meters per second squared or 1 g, the passenger ships would reorient themselves again to face inward towards the hub ship or the center payload starship. For the remaining journey, those aboard the passenger ships would experience the sensation of being pulled down due to the centripetal force created by the rotation of the wheel. These ideas are all under development and Elon Musk is reviewing all options to make the best solution for anti-gravity. So that's a wrap for today. Thank you for watching. If you would like to receive more updates about tech-related news, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. So, what do you think about artificial gravity starships and their effects? Will it work? What do you think is going to happen next? Don't forget to share in the comments section. Thank you for staying with us.